time now for my guest, a man who knows there's more to prepping for Armageddon than stockpiling spam and drinking your own piss. Actually, my own piss would taste quite nice. Anyway, please welcome YouTube star and professional prepper. You know him as Armored Cockroach, but to his friends, he's Roach. Now, Roach, good to see you. Nice to meet you. Can I call you Roachy? Yes, of course, can. Thanks, Roachy, babes. Now, tell me, what is a prepper? Uh... Individual emergency planning. Anybody that's prepared to put a little bit aside today because tomorrow just might be a bit tougher. Are you ready for anything? Um, I don't know about anything. I don't think anyone can be ready for anything. If a meteor comes out of space, I'm done like everybody else. OK, so what kind of things are you ready for? Um, I'm preparing for things that have actually happened. So a few years ago, we had the Somerset levels flooded. I don't know. Well, yes, yes, yeah, yes. Somerset. Uh, so yes. that happened three weeks before Christmas. Do you live in Somerset? No, I don't. But 30,000 people do. But where were you? I, I was very happily somewhere else. So why were you prepared for that? OK. Um, flooding is just an example. OK. So we have floods yes. all over the country. So you're prepared. Where do you live? Uh, I live in... Um, top secret. Isn't yeah, that yeah, Inspector in, Gadget? In Luton. You li the Luton they, area. They haven't really had many flooding in Luton. No, they haven't had much but flooding. But if there was flooding, you'd be there. You'd be no, there. no, no. That's that's just the opposite. Oh. If there was flooding there, I'd be somewhere else. I'd be anywhere else, provided it was safe for me and my family. Okay, wow. That's good to know. That's well, you put I a lot of videos on YouTube about yep. you prepping, yep. and I want to learn about prepping. So let's take a look at one of your clips. Okay. This is the bag that I just grabbed. If I'm going for a country walk, if I'm going to be out for less than 24 hours. In the front, then I've got a little uh, hexamine cooker, a large ambulance uh, first aid dressing. Uh, some garden twine, kind of cordage, 60 metres. I've got a small knife, fork and spoon. Wow. So that was, is that all you need to survive flooding and stuff? No. What you need, what, what human beings need is food, water and somewhere to sleep. Next question. What's the tastiest bit of a human? Um, do you know what? I've never actually got around to carving one up, but I, but I have to turn around and say I'd put anything on a plate. I reckon it's this bit, right? Because like, what happens is all the sweat no, congeals so. there. It's proper tasty, and you've got a you got lot of meat here. I would have to compare it to maybe beef, and right. uh, rump would probably be the best bit, so but, my, but so that's, me, that's me guessing. So my bum would be tasty, is what it says. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure, you know. Really? Yeah. Interesting. For sure. We live in a different time, you can't see any things anymore. <laughs> no. um, well, it's fine. I want to learn more about this 24-hour bag. Because no I problem. saw on one of your YouTube clips okay. that you have a 24-hour bag, which means you, you take it everywhere so you're prepared. Well, I actually have a Louis Vuitton bag. Excellent. Right? And I carry this I around with me. You know, me. I don't have a Louis Vuitton bag. Do you not? No, I have, really? some, I have some funky stuff, but but not no one of those. OK, well, it's time for you okay. to take part in my little game. No problem. Right? Involving this bag, my 24-hour bag. It's called... I will survive. Do you like that? Yeah, it's all right. Let's see what you got. OK, so I will survive or will I, Rochi? Because in my 24-hour bag, I have some Crocs. OK. Are they your size? No. OK. They wouldn't, have, they wouldn't have fit in the bag. Um, I've got some hair straighteners. Yep. Yeah? Um, I've got... Oh, oh. I've got lip gloss. Yep. Um, I've got a spork. Yep. And uh, tissues, because... Hay fever. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, a signed photo of me. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah? Can I, can I have that? You can oh, have that. Big, oh, big you fan. can take that yeah, home. Really also, fan. I've got a tiny Lego man. Oh, wow. Well. So, yeah. So tell me how I'm Everybody surviving. Everybody needs a little cowboy. How am I surviving? Uh, uh, you, you're doing okay. Do you know what? You're probably doing better than most because most people, what they've got on them is nothing. Right. So you've got tissues, so we can blow our nose with those. We can use them to light fire. We can use them to wipe our behind after we go to the toilet. Yes, All right, there you go. Yeah, yeah, Boom. There go. That's your what tissues. Uh, Spork. Knife, fork, spoon. Mate, everyone's got to eat. Yeah. You know, what am I eating, though? The Crocs? Mate, you can... Uh, I think there'll be an element, so my little kind of system is what's well, got built into it is whatever I can forage along the way. So, oh, so I'll I, forage. So I can't carry food for a week, but I can find food for a day. So what about these straighteners? What can I do with these? Uh, I, I would just take the wire. I think I'd take the, I'd just cut the wire off, I'd strip it down, and that would be brilliant cordage. 